so let's get started. I'm going to first start off with the items that I actually ended up purchasing and then I'll tell you what I didn't purchase and why. So, first product and one of the standout products in my opinion are the beauty powders. Here they are. And this one right here is Summer Rose which is actually a dusky rose color. And then the next one is Blush of Youth, which is pretty much a barely there pink. Apologies for the reflection. You can kind of see the reflection in the glass. It's the bright light. But as many of you may know, or some of you may not know, these what makes these beauty powders especially unique is that they have a rose imprint on them. Now if you look at them in the container, they look fairly fairly matte, more satin than anything else. But the wonderful thing about them and about most beauty powders is that they apply with a sort of a subtle sheen and iridescence to them. This one is Summer Rose, which like I said is a rose color. What you see on the screen is pretty true to the color itself. I am personally a MAC NW15 and this shows up as a very light rose blush on me. It's actually gorgeous and I think it will be even more gorgeous for the summer. So that's Summer Rose. Next off we have Blush of Youth. And Blush of Youth is something that might not show up on a lot of people. I'm very pale so it does show up as a very faint cool blue pink color on me. I think for those of you who are a little bit darker, it will make a fantastic highlight color without being too over the top. Let me actually pull this out and open it up. I'm personally a very huge fan of beauty powders as blushes and also as highlighters, so it was a there was no question about the fact that I would get these. But here you go. Here is Blush of Youth. I don't know if you could tell, but this is much cooler, much pinker than the other color. And again, like I said, it's going to make a wonderful highlighter and it applies with a sh slight sheen, slight iridescence. I know older folks, and sometimes even younger folks, don't necessarily want glitter bombs on their cheeks with their highlighter, so I think these will be fantastic for all of you. Here's the beauty powders. Uh, next on, we'll talk about the repromotes of the pigments. The first pigment we have is actually Circa Plum, and I picked this up with the original release as a Nordstrom exclusive last year with the color form collection. And Circa Plum is, I guess it's a sort of gray plum color, very sparkly, as most MAC pigments are. I don't know if you can kind of tell what that looks like in the jar. I will actually swatch this one on my hand just so you can see a little bit better how complex the color is. Here it is on my finger. And actually a beautiful color but here it is and actually if you look at my hand this part up here is the remnants of the stains the lip stains that actually came out with this collection that I didn't pick up this time around but who knows knowing me I might end up getting them after all they do not budge <laughs> I literally took a MAC wipe several hand washings and as you could tell they're still there's still remnants of color there. And that's also a better shot of Circle Plum. So that's Circle Plum. Highly recommended. Great color. We promoted with this collection. Next item we have is Mutiny. And Mutiny is also a pigment. This one I actually picked up a sample of because I couldn't find my full size jar. But Mutiny is a light blue, bright. Very, very sparkly, very shimmery. Let me actually, can you see how bright that is? Also a gorgeous color. Arguably not necessarily a color that fits with the collection, but I feel like it does, because sky blue and uh, flowers go hand in hand. But there's that. Also very, very sparkly color. Very, very beautiful color great for summer. That is Mutiny. And Mutiny was actually originally released with the Naughty Nauticals collection. Next up we have 
the star of the eyeshadows, in my opinion, of this collection. And the color is called Silverthorn. Silverthorn is a Velux pearl, and that means that it has a sheen to it, and that it's super pigmented and buttery, buttery smooth to apply. And what makes Silverthorn unique is that it is a silver color, and in the pan it looks pretty much straight up silver and comparable to something like Max Silver Ring. It's not like Silver Ring at all. I actually compared this to Silver Ring, to Club, and to a lot of other silvery eyeshadows from MAC and what makes this so unique is that it has a green duochrome to it. Similar to Club, only Club is a lot darker. And actually I think this would look fantastic when paired with Club. This is probably going to be my new go-to silver color only because it does have some complexity to it which I love. But Silver Thorn is pretty much the standout of all the eyeshadows in the collection. There were two repromotes, one being Shadowy Lady, which has been repromoted several times, and which is a dark plum and matte. And then the other repromote is actually Creme de Violet, which kind of reminds me a bit of Pink Pearl, but with more of a pink pearl as opposed to a blue pearl, if that makes any sense. It's also a beautiful color, but you can get it at any time as it is part of the permanent matte collection. Then the other two colors we have are Et Tu Bouquet, which is actually a very cute little name, and it is a, I'm actually looking at the photos right now on my computer, Et Tu Bouquet is a highlight color, basically a very typical cream color with a bit of a pink pearl to it, and that's Et Tu Bouquet. I personally didn't feel like it was unique enough to warrant purchasing, but if you like highlight colors, by all means, you know, that would be a great color if you like pinky golds. And the last color is of summer, which is basically a very, very light rose color. Again, it's pretty, but not overly unique in my opinion. Therefore, I did not pick them up. Um, okay, moving on. Fix Plus Rose. I don't know if any of you are familiar with Fix Plus, but basically it's intended as a moisturizer and as something that you sort of finish your makeup look off with. It looks the same as any other Fix Plus, only it has a light scent of rose to it. If you're a fan of using pigments, a lot of the time people might spray their brushes with Fix Plus before dipping it into the pigment just to give it something to adhere to. And if you're a fan of the rose scent in general, then definitely go for this if you're in need of a new Fix Plus because that's the only difference between the two. We have, that's it for all the things that I purchased, but I'll briefly talk about a couple of the other items. The Just a Pinch chink, Cheek, eh, can't even talk. Cheek Tint is a new product from MAC. It is remarkably similar to Tarte's gel stains. If you've ever used them, it comes in a pot similar to a paint pot. And you can use it on the lips, I'm sure, as well, on the cheeks. It is a bright red pink in the container, but it could be sheared out to a very, very lovely light flush shade. Personally, I don't have the patience to deal with gel cheek stains, but if you like them, then by all means, you'll love this product, because it does go on very, very well. And again, swatches will be on my blog, so you can go ahead and check that out as well. Lip glasses and lipsticks were fairly uninspiring in my opinion. You have various shades of rose and pink. Magnetique is actually a repromote, and there is another repromote in this collection as well among the lip glasses, and that is Virgin Kiss, I believe, may or may not be a repromote, and then Steal My Heart, which is just your typical bright pink lip glass. Lipstick's Way to Love is your light peachy pink, Rose Romance is a mid-tone mauve, and then Odyssey is your dark plum color. The see-through lip colors have been produced many times in the MAC collection. We have a three shades. One is a light pink, which on me, my lips are pigmented, it wouldn't show up at all. Then we also have our Berry and Secret Crush, and Tender Tryst, which is our plum color. And there you have it. That's the Rose Romance collection. Hope you enjoyed my review. Hope you subscribe, comment, and check out my blog again for swatches. Bye, guys!